Papa Jack here. We are out in an island. This is Antelope Island. It's one of our uh, Utah state parks in the middle of the Great Salt Lake. And we are making biscuits. All right, making biscuits. I found that two cups of uh, all-purpose flour and two cups of bread flour works awesome. So I've gone to go ahead and got those added in. I've added in a half a teaspoon of baking soda and two teaspoons of baking powder. Then right here, I've got my butter and I've gone ahead and chopped that into about half inch cubes. And then I put that in the freezer. It just makes it chopped up a lot better. So we're gonna add just a little bit of flour to the butter. Let's go ahead and coat the butter into the flour because we want all this separated. That's what's gonna give us the flakiness of these biscuits. So we're gonna chop those up just a little bit finer. All right, see, we've got this chopped up. We got a nice little crumble going. We're gonna add that back into our flour mixture. My uh, great great uncle was a sheep herder out in this country and his specialty was biscuits. So this is kind of not necessarily his recipe. This is one that I've developed, but uh, you know, biscuits run in our family to say that. Okay, we wanna get all that incorporated into our flour. You're going to get messy. Woo all right, we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna add two cups of buttermilk. So I'm actually gonna do a cup and a half to start with. And that way, if I need to add a little bit more at the end, I can. We're gonna get that buttermilk incorporated in. I just start with a wood spoon to start with. Just kind of get all that moistened up in there. We're gonna need just a little bit more buttermilk. Just, just like the old school days when you used to make mud pies as you as a kid, this is what we're doing. That kind of consistency right there. All right, we got this incorporated in. It's pretty wet. See how it's sticking to your hands? Yeah, that's what you want. You want to stick to your hands just a little bit. It's a little wetter than what you would normally think. Get another handful of flour. Go ahead and flour your workspace. Now we want to flatten this out. All right, this is the key right here to awesome biscuits. Go ahead and get it flattened out. Do not use a rolling pin, all right? Rolling pin bad, hands good. Oh, it three quarters an inch thick. Flip it over. Now you gotta fold it. Squish that down. You wanna do this five times. And just all that super awesome flakiness inside. All right, the next tip is, is how you cut it. It's actually super important. So you can take a knife and just cut them squares if you like or you can use a biscuit cutter, which I like to use. Um, key to the cutter is put on your dough straight down, no twisting. If you twist it, it's gonna kinda allow it so it doesn't pop up and, and rise as much. So, all right, so we're gonna go ahead and throw these into the cast iron pan. You can do these in your oven, you can do them in your pellet grills, you can do them in your barbecue boxes, you can do them on coals, Dutch ovens. Okay, so we got all these cut up pieces, right? What do we do with that? Now again, you don't want to smash everything down. You want to be able to kind of keep those flakies going on. So I just kind of smoosh it back together. Then these make some actually kind of cool biscuits. They're not pretty biscuits, but uh, actually our kids fight over these ones. So they're a really rustic looking biscuit. Man, you don't want to waste any of that dough, so. All right, another one. Okay, boom, just like that. We're ready to fire this up. So, I, we're actually gonna do this on the, the Artisan uh, oven. We got it on our Pro 90. I've got it heated up to about 450 degrees. So whatever you're cooking on, try to keep around that 425, 450. And we're just gonna go ahead and pop those in. And with anything cooking outside, you know, 12 minutes is pretty close, but I'm just gonna watch for those to rise, get brown. I may have to turn it a little bit. We'll check and see. All right, these are done. Oh, look at that. Nice and brown on top. Got a really nice brown crust on bottom. They've popped up. Look at the layers in there. You see those layers? Woo, it's getting hot. Woo! Man, them are tasty. Look at the layers in there. Just pull, <laughs> that is so hot. All right, that's how I do biscuits. So, if you liked it, go ahead and give us a like. Maybe give us a shout out down in the comments, subscribe, and uh, I always like to see pictures if you did it yourself. See you guys later.